strange bones. Don't seem human to me. howling. Come on now. Get up. Come on. Slow now. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd you dispel this 
evil. Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Young man. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for your done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best and last. Mm, not what I came for. You used me to tame the wizard.
Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. Whose spirit was trapped in the tree? That of one who once cheated death. But she couldn't deceive you, brave knight. You've rid the world of a great evil. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given we never break. The girl, mousy blonde, that's what they call it. Cinderella, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. They say you always keep your word, so tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone supposed to run. We would feast in trails, saw the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a blood. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the Omens had spoken of. A child of the Elder Blood. The same seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. The blood! Mm, the blood of the traitress. Does she sleep? Like a lamb. Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table is set. The cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emlyrith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly.
tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if you go, you will die this morning, and some night. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have we not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Still seems like your fault to me. Will you let me finish? All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? 
came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life. And mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Though as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. Your wife is with the crones, as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them, and thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes.
I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last... Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were! You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. 
The Wild Hunt. Pursuing you. I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanian's mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where'd you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Dare you! Sorry, I'm really sorry. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, quit your carping, smartass. Someone wagered him, and we played. If anyone was desperate, he was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsons blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. 
hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a runny fart. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. <laughs> 